if you want a, a, a review of the taste of, of, of the Buwe uh, uh, Lakai <laughs> festival, check out the willhady.com. You'll be tweeting live, uh, I guess. Uh, yes, I that's, that's the easiest thing yes. to do. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll blog after that. Yes. Okay, uh, perfect. Put pictures and videos. Alice. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Diana. Thanks for, for the slogan, of course, because we're simply accepting the people who are from the local party. Vous de, parlez de, 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 de affaires et expériences, c'est là et nous, écoutez, nous sommes aussi. Et par rapport à qui fait expérience et qui finit avec qui est concret, c'est là, vous êtes 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 là. Et puis, chef de même, tout le et bonne chance, et puis, bye pour de manger. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Backstage Access, où est-ce que c'est 2013? Nous sommes ici. Pour moi, les Jardiniens, ils sont ces 28 ans. Pour moi, les extraordinaires. Nous sommes ici, nous sommes ici, Une demi. Une demi. Voilà, si The chefs walked through the grocery store with their menus in mind. Although they each had a plan, aisle by aisle they picked up ingredients and put them back on the shelves. One chef would choose an ingredient and the others would pick it up. The competition was fierce, but in a healthy way. There were a variety of fresh fruits and vegetables in the market. There were things that average cooks probably wouldn't recognize. Everything was fresh from the earth and packaged nicely. Eventually making it to the cash register with two fully loaded baskets of fresh vegetables, spices, and dairy ingredients. The chefs were prepared to each cook for 400 people. Then it was time for a shave and some haircuts for the chefs. The guys sat down in the barber chairs and were served a cold prestige beer on that hot afternoon. Beer at a barber shop? Welcome to Haiti. For me, the, 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 the best thing about, about doing this festival is getting to hang with these guys. I, 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 I await that time. You know, spending a week with my, with, with, with my boys, spending a week with, with guys who love, you know, the same thing that I do. We love cooking, we love, we love putting great food together. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh man. It's, journey has only been what? Two days? Two, two days? Two days on a short And it seems like it's been already a month. So much has happened in two days. And we kick off the event tonight. Pretty much, is, uh, hopefully, not hopefully, but we know that it will be more than a success. Um, like we always say, the, the goal is to make this event a destination when people just have to mark this in their calendar so they can come to Haiti for this event. 29 chefs participated in Gouin Saver Lakai's Haiti's third food and spirits festival in Pétionville. Twelve international chefs traveled to Haiti for the event, including four Haitian Americans. The barbancou was flowing, the appetizers were going around, and the chefs were sharing kitchen war stories and experiences. If I learn a recipe from, from your grandmother or somebody, I keep that recipe. That's true. We're having a good time. We're enjoying ourselves. It's fun. My eyes are bloodshot red because I've been up so early and you know I'm in Haiti. I'm having a good time.
I'm hanging out with my, my friends, my, my brothers, and my local chefs. And it's, it's fun. Tonight, after the press conference, we're going to be at Castellate. Uh, we're going to have happy hour there for the chefs. We're going to have a chef's table, appetizer, drinks all over again. So, they continue to see it. Tomorrow is a big day, the grand tasting which is going to be amazing and right after that there's a ball so we're going to be up from 6 in the morning again until 6 in the morning the next day it's going to be fun this yearly event brings restaurants chefs and local producers of rum beer and wine to celebrate Haiti's gastronomy. With a boom in tourism, this comes at a great time to promote Haiti as a culinary destination. Three Haitian American chefs, Chef Alain Lemaire, Chef David Destonov, and Chef Juvens Jean, accompanied by Chef Stéphane Durand, the organizer and master of the 10 day long event. Haitian and foreign media gathered at a press conference to kick off the events. This was the moment of introduction for the media, chefs, and sponsors. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Merci d'être venus d'avoir fait le déplacement. Chers invités, chers chefs, chers ministres, chers membres de l'association touristique, chers membres de la presse, et bienvenue et au lancement du festival Goué Saveur la Caille. I would like to say welcome also to all the journalists that came with Delta Airlines to cover Goué Saveur and also to discover the beautiful Haiti that we have. The next day was like an episode of Top Chef. Heat in the kitchen, the pots and the pans banging, the chefs yelling and the scent of food cooking. It was 2 p.m. and the chef's protein hadn't been delivered to the event that was to start at 7 p.m. The fish finally arrived and the chefs kept cooking until right before the event began. They loaded their hot boxes and transported the food to Caribe Hotel, the event location. It was after 7 p.m. Chef Alain, Chef David, and Chef Juvens rushed into the beautifully decorated room where all the vendors were set up for the main tasting event. They emptied the hot boxes and started plating their food for guests, one by one. The foodies came in to the table wondering what they would taste next. We heard Haitian music playing, a Tubadu band performing and the chatter of guests mingling. There were scents of all different appetizers, main courses, desserts, and drinks.
local and visiting chefs got a chance to showcase their work at a Haitian restaurant. Chef Lemire joined Chef Tony at the restaurant in La Reserve Hotel, where we went behind the scenes. The indoor-outdoor kitchen is surrounded by trees, giving you a chance to be in Haiti's nature. The media doesn't cover events like this, where talented individuals who travel back to their homeland to celebrate their passion. The media does not show you the grocery stores or the restaurants. The media does not show you the side of Haiti that so many know and love. The media misrepresents Haiti. This is Haiti. The real Haiti.